Hello guys, welcome back to HiGoSpot channel. If you forgot your iPad passcode and see your iPad show an unavailable or security lockout message, your device will stop you from getting into it. In that case, this video will definitely help you sort out the issue, so keep watching. If you fail to input a correct passcode after 5 attempts, your iPad says iPad unavailable on the screen, just like this 9th generation iPad in my hand. Next, we will show you how to regain access to your iPad in three ways. If you have the same problem with your iPad, let's do it together. The fastest way to get past the screen is to erase your iPad to get your device into factory reset. After entering the wrong passcode seven times, your iPad may display iPad unavailable. Try again in 15 minutes message on the screen. Meanwhile, you may notice that there is an erase iPad option at the bottom of the screen. However, one thing you need to know about is that this option is a new feature released by Apple for iPad OS 15.2 or higher. So if your device is running iPad OS 15.1 and lower, it only shows iPad is disabled on the screen, the Erase iPad option won't come out. Another case you won't see Erase iPad option is that your device doesn't connect to Wi-Fi. If your iPad supports a cellular network, you can insert a SIM card to get a network connection. So once the Erase iPad option is displayed on your phone, tap it. On the next page, you need to confirm if you want to erase this device. All the data of the device will be wiped out. Simply tap on Erase iPad again. Then enter your Apple ID password to deregister your account. Wait for a short while, and the device will reset itself, entirely deleting all the user data and starting from fresh. Now, you can use your iPad like it's new. Find My iPhone is a nice feature for your iOS devices that keeps your device's information safe in case it's lost. So it also makes it easy to unlock your iPad when Find My iPad is turned on and you don't forget the iCloud credentials. If you have a phone or computer nearby, go to iCloud.com in a browser and sign in using your Apple ID and password. Make sure it's the same account that is in sync with your iPad. On the home page, it displays various options. Click on Find iPhone to learn how to unlock your iPad. If you linked several iOS devices in your iCloud account, click on All Devices on the top then select your unavailable iPad from the list. Once you select it, confirm your choice and click on Erase iPad option. Head over to your iPad. As you can see, your device is being erased remotely. Except for the above two methods, you can also use a third-party tool called iPhone Unlocker from AppGeeker.com to regain access to your iPad. It can provide a more immediate and more accessible way to fix the unavailable issue, regardless of your iPhone or iPad. You can learn more about this by clicking the video link below or go to AppGeeker's official website to download this software. Okay, let's continue. Let's run iPhone Unlocker on the computer. Now you can see there are various options on the interface. For iPad unavailable issue, we need to click the white passcode pane. Click the Start button then follow the on-screen instruction to complete the next steps. Now you need to connect your iPad to the PC via a USB cable. As you can see, the software cannot identify your device unless you put it into recovery mode. For an iPad with a Home button, connect your device to the computer at first. Keep holding the Home button and Power button simultaneously, you don't need to drag the power off slider when it shows up, don't release the buttons until the recovery mode screen appears. For an iPad without a home button, connect your iPad to the computer first.
Press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Then keep pressing the side button for around 20 seconds. When the recovery mode screen appears, let go of the button. Let's head to the interface. Now you need to select your iPad category and type in the drop down menu. Once done, click the start button to jump to the next page. Look, the firmware package is downloading for your iPad to remove the data, including the lock screen passcode. This process may take some time, keep a network connection during this process. Once finished, a precaution window will come out to tell you everything in your iPad will be wiped out thoroughly. If you have a backup in iCloud or PC, you can restore the data when you get to the apps and data screen during the setup process. Enter 0000 in the input field then click unlock button to move on. Now, your iPad is being unlocked, you need to wait for a while. Don't unplug your device from the computer until it's turned on successfully. Once unlocked, swipe up to do the setup. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope this video can help you fix your iPad unavailable issue. If it does, give us a thumb up and don't forget to share it with your friends. See you.